Thanks, Tina. With St. Patrick's Day weekend upon us, state officials are sounding the alarm on impaired driving. A string of deadly accidents on Connecticut roads are reigniting the debate over what can be done to crack down on offenders and save lives. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli has details. Lawmakers here in Hartford weighing changes to the state's drunk driving laws. And this St. Patrick's Day weekend, Republicans are worried about a different kind of green. State lawmakers are once again considering lowering Connecticut's blood alcohol limit. Currently, anything over a .08 could land you behind bars. Under a new proposal from the top Democrat on the Transportation Committee, that number could fall to .05. Impaired driving really begins at .05. There are a number of things in terms of tracking and response time that we know are impacted at the .05 to .079 level. The ranking Republican on the Transportation Committee says alcohol impairment is one thing, but another substance may be the ultimate culprit behind a recent uptick in impaired driving incidents. You cannot deny the increased danger on our roads caused by impairment. An impairment with alcohol is an important consideration, just as impairment by marijuana also needs to be a consideration. But, but BAC alone, I don't think it's enough. But is it a step forward? Yes. The top Republican in the House rebutted that idea. Going from 0.08 to 0.05, I think will have very little impact. I mean, now we're dealing with the cocktails of um, different um, intoxicants that people are putting into their bodies. Senator Cohen agreed that other drugs must be addressed as well. Do we need more drug recognition experts and, and law enforcement trained in this regard? Absolutely. And we're Previous attempts to lower the blood alcohol limit from 0.08 have failed in the legislature. This bill seems to be facing similar scrutiny. But this year's attempts are taking place against the backdrop of an alarming rise in roadway fatalities. We are on pace, on track to have one of the worst, if not the worst, years on Connecticut roadways. Some people are going to be okay. They'll get home safely at the end of their St. Patrick's Day weekend. But unfortunately, a lot of people won't. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Mike Cerulli, News 8.